All right, so these are my uh, my fruit trees. It's February, I'm sorry, it's uh, May the 29th, 2014. These first few trees are apple trees. And we've got some apples on them. May have to thin a few of them out, but uh, in a lot of places it's just one here and one there. These are the apples. I walk over here. And this looks like this will be the first year that we really get some apples. We had a few last year, not a lot. These trees are three or four years old and starting to produce now, so really looking forward to that. So these first five trees are apples. All right, these next couple of trees are crab apples. And if we look down here, I think we're going to have a few crab apples this year. And we had we had more than we could stand last year, so I'm sure we'll we'll do the same thing this year. I've got two of those tree next door. Some plums. Uh, this plum tree has always been beautiful, but no no fruit. It actually set a few this year, but you can see something's been eaten on the tree pretty bad, and it's dropped. You know the few fruit that it did put on, it dropped. Um, See them on the ground there. I don't know what to do with it. I've, I've sprayed pretty religiously this year, um, but obviously didn't didn't do well enough. There's another plum tree over here next door, and it's got some plums on it. I think I just planted this tree last year, but it has some plums. So, and again, something's been eating on it too. If you see the leaves. So I've clearly not been spraying enough. My goal was to spray them every weekend, but we've had a lot of rain, so I haven't done such a good job. I skipped them this weekend, but I just I did spray them today. Um, skip some more plum trees, and then down here into some peaches. So I'll probably need to thin some of this fruit out. There are the peaches growing. Um, this peach tree made peaches the last two years in a row, but they all fell off when they got about this size. Um, but before this year, I didn't have any kind of spray program, and I've, I have been spraying this year, so hopefully they'll they'll hang on. Whatever was eating them hopefully won't. But I've got um, four peach trees, and then down here, that's a nectarine, and I think all the nectarines fell off. These peaches all seem to have a few on them. Hopefully they'll mature. I don't, I think all the nectarines have fallen off, because I don't see any on this tree. Alright, not to make you too dizzy here, but uh, blueberries, they're doing well this year. I've got four blueberries here, uh, but you can't see them, right, the trees are in the way, so we'll, we'll look at the other ones later, but I've got four blueberries here pomegranate down on the end. Um, I, I had blooms on this big one a couple of years ago, but nothing uh, nothing lately. No blooms this year, certainly, and I don't think I had any last year. A couple of smaller ones. My fig bush, um, the frost killed the whole top of it, so I cut the top out, and I'm getting a little bit of green out of the bottom, so that's, that's pretty nice if that'll grow. Um, my red flame grape. This is a. Uh, I don't remember if I planted this last year or the year before, but it was all the way up to the wire and then all the way to both ends. But the uh, the cold that we had killed it, and it's just starting to come back. I thought I'd lost the whole vine, but it is it is trying to come back. Same story with the Thompson. Um, it killed the whole the whole thing all the way back to here. This is the only place that green came out. So I cut the vine off. You know for everything below that and I'm training it back up to the wire and it has made it to the wire just in the last few weeks maybe the last two or three the Concord which was a year older um, totally unaffected by the cold so it's doing well lots of lots of fruit on this and I hope it all makes 
and down here on the ground there's some looks like a concord bush but what that is is some of the prunings from last year are just stuck in the dirt and they're rooting and uh, doing well so if you're in the northwest georgia area and want some concord grapes uh, this winter be glad to give you some over here some more grapes a couple of grapes down there on the end i planted um, this year um, that's another concord from my grandmother's grapevine i rooted it um, got it around christmas of 2012 grew it in a pot all last year and i planted it this winter so it's made it up to the vine and i pinched off the top so hopefully it'll branch out and go both directions a couple more grapes here a little later but they're uh they're doing fine and some more down there at the bottom some more grape prunings i stuck in the dirt and uh Looks like they're leafing and rooting, so I think this is a uh, red flame. I think. No, that's not right. I don't remember what it is, but anyway, it's a red seedless variety, but anyway. Whatever it is, I'll, I'll have some of those. Um, some more grapes here. Looks like they're just through flowering. and looks like they didn't do quite as well as the other ones, but there are... Well, I don't think that's going to focus. There we go. But there are, there are some fruit there. And I lost the uh, the limb that went off to the left here. The frost killed it. And I had to prune it off. Um, but I am training a new one. So I'll take that and twist it around. Anyway. All right. Focus. Uh, this is kiwi. I don't have any idea what to do with kiwi. Um, I guess I need to figure it out. This is uh, an Anna and a male kiwi next to it. These are some smaller blueberries. Looks like they'll have a few blueberries this year. Some new grapevines I planted and some raspberries and blackberries over there that I planted just this season. There's some blackberries right there. And some muscadines that you not much to see because they're all all so young and small. And the last row over there is uh, five cherry trees. And then the last two trees uh, died. And I talked to, Ner to uh, Isons today, and despite the fact that their warranty states they'll replace, you know, you can you can get replacement trees at half price, they they agreed to just replace them all together. Um, one was a Fuyu persimmon, and the other one was a Pakistan mulberry, and they're both just dead. And uh, But they did say that they had some trouble, particularly with a Pakistan mulberry, uh, not leafing out above the graft. So that's it. That's what's growing at my house now. Um, that's all I got.